Hello everybody, Frank here again and today I am hanging out with Alexis, not Alexis, like the human name, a Lexus SC430. This particular one is a 2002 and it's got about 128,000 miles I believe and uh we're just going to poke it full of holes. We'll, we'll check it out. We'll, we'll, we'll see what this particular one has going on for it. Um, it's various flaws and such, as it is for sale over on Cars and Bids. Um, so let's, uh, let's do that. Fairly clean car. I, I'm pretty confident it's a lifetime California car. We'll confirm that with the Fox. Um, let's see what the Carfax has to say. Um, it, it has some imperfections, but it's a, a very sharp looking car still, um, if you're into the styling on these. It's uh, somewhat controversial. I, I don't consider it a pretty car, but I don't know. It's sort of grown on me a little. Got a, uh, uh, something on top of the paint. That's coming off. Look at that. Okay, I thought that was a scratch, but it's not. Um, there are a couple of minor dings on this hood. There's one here. There's a really light one there some light really light scratches it might polish off it's typical typical wear and tear um, I did notice the chrome here let's get my shadow out of there the chrome here starting to bubble up a little bit on this this piece of trim uh, doesn't look to be that way on the grill or the emblem but just on that Headlights have this little protector over them. You can kind of see here on the edge where some dirt has gotten under this edge. It's like a protective uh, heavy, heavy film over the lenses on these. Um, it's starting to fade a little bit, but I think it's just on that protector. So I don't know how easy it is to replace those or polish those. Um, it's like that on both sides, but still pretty clear as far as headlamps go on something that's 20 plus years old. scuff here on the uh, on the paint a little bit here on this reflector uh, date code on the tires 2022 so very end of January 2022 so those are about to hit their second year birthday and a uh, good amount of tread left on them so tires are good um, there is some curb rash you can see on the wheel here on the pie plate wheels which I don't know I, I I've slowly become a fan of these pie plate wheels. When they came out back in the day, I thought they were tremendously ugly. But I, I kind of like them now. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm now 40. I, who knows? Um, you can see, much like on the, the headlamps, there's a protective film here on this uh, chip protector. And, um, you know, it's done its job. There's a little bit of scuffing and haziness here, but pretty well. Um, this has a lot of chip protection. You can see there's this guy here on the sill plate. There's this door edge film here. There's the, the fingernail protector here on the door. Uh, top is in good shape. We'll operate it here in a moment. Make sure it goes up and it goes down. There is a little paint damage on this back bumper. Right here. A little scrapey scrape down here. And that's, that's the antenna. It, it does go up. But when it comes down, it only it goes to to stubby mode here. Um, it will not go down more than that. It doesn't really bug me. If it bugs you, just take note of that. Um, but it still works. The radio works, all of that. Um, more curb rash on this wheel here. And usually on cars, the, this passenger rear is going to be the one that sees the brunt of the, uh, the damage when it comes to... Uh, curb rashing and I'm looking at this one here the 32nd week of 21 on the rear tires so rears are a little little older back to minor paint damage this here on the bumper I guess that's a little bit more than minor there's a little spider cracking here on the top of the bumper uh, probably from whatever impacted here flex the bumper in enough where it cracked the paint and it starts to go under this chip protector here a little again more chip protector. 
little scuff here on the bumper cover. Again, more spider cracking on the top of the bumper cover there. Deck lid paint, it's pretty darn good. There are a few high points here. One, two, three, four. Um, PDR guy can probably knock those out pretty easily, tap them back down. And that's just from somebody closing that trunk lid there with some pokey things poking up there in the, in the trunk. Bumper corner over here looks pretty darn good. This pie plate's got a little bit less curb rash on it. Still has some, but a fair bit less. Big, big on the clear film on this particular car. Although there's no edge, no edge guard on this driver's door. And there's some, there's some paint chipping. Typical stuff, but you know, I wonder why this side didn't get the chip protector. It's got the, the fingernail guard and the cell plate guard. But you know, pretty straight car overall. You know, I'm, as with all of these, I try and be as nitpicky as I can when it comes to scrapes and dings and damage. Again, a little bit more road rash on this wheel. But uh, yeah, overall, very, very presentable car. And as I said, the styling has grown on these a little bit, as far as I, as far as I view them. Do you agree? I don't know. React in the comments. Let's poke around in here. Interior is quite nice. It's got the Mark Levinson stereo system. Um, leather here on the seat is held up quite well. A little bit of bolster wear increasing, but for a 128,000 mile car, it's held up quite well. There's some denting on this uh, metal strip in the sill plate here. Some scratches, some scuffs, some denting. Um, power seat, backwards, forwards, up, down, leans, forward, backward. Um, we've got the back seat, which is pretty comical. That's an extremely vertical rear backrest on this, and what is effectively zero leg room. So really, it's a great place to keep your luggage. They wouldn't want to put people back there. Let's look around in here. Let's start it. Uh, turn the fan off so we can see and hear stuff. It does have very outdated navigation. So, you know, that works. Um, menu, all kinds of info as far as maintenance reminders. Um, what else do we have? Display, destination, map. Um, you can do this, which is fun. How do I do that? Close, is that it? Yeah. And that's gonna go hide away. Goodbye. Uh, dash, very good shape. No cracking that I can see. It's not sticky. Yeah, 128,199 is the odometer reading there. It's got auto headlamps. We got turn signals, those work. High beams low beams, uh, mirrors. There it goes. Right side. Yep. Up, down. Cool. Uh, stereo. Okay, that works. Um, the antenna does go up, as I mentioned before. And when it goes back down, it's just gonna, gonna go back into its little partially up stubby position. Uh, stereo, uh, HVAC. Let's try this. Crank it all the way down. 
and change it to this. And oh yeah, AC is working. That is nice and cold. What else do we have here? Power mode, or snow mode, or regular. Uh, VSC, that's the vehicle stability control. That's off, that's on. We've got a funny little cup holder guy. I'm not quite sure how this works. Um, oh, there it goes. Cup holder. Got, there you go, cigarette lighter. Not sure what this guy does. Um, maybe this has a cover that folds down? I think it does. I don't know how to get it. Maybe it's stuck up there. I don't know. Do you know? I'm all ears. Educate me. I don't want to mess with it too much because I would just leave it in this position anyways. And I don't want to break it trying to get a feature that I would never use to work. Um, heated seats. Those do work. I was playing with that earlier. We have center console I did see it does have a backup camera um, I don't know where it's hooked up I think it's you can hook up one of these screens somewhere if you wanted to I don't know I'm not gonna mess with it I don't know if it works or not I would just not use it um, but that's all included if you want to play with that um, you know I, I'm not gonna call that a feature but it's a something um, okay let's play with the roof shall we um, I don't know how to operate this roof. We're gonna find out. Okay, I'm in park. I'm gonna keep my foot on the brake. Open, I assume it's just, you push that. Holding it down, I think that's the way this is gonna work. Here we go. Okay, and it made a beep. And I think that means we're in business. Um, it started to roll the windows up there, but I, I want to keep them down. I'm not convertible with the window up guy. Uh, fuel door, push that. Pop the trunk. Or not the trunk, that's the hood. How do I pop the trunk? I don't know. Is it this other button? It is. It's paint's rubbed off it a little bit. And I noticed too, we've got this uh, adjustable steering column, so. Telescope out, in, up, down. So that works. Fuel door release works. We'll say it does much, look, I think much better with the top down. Let's look under here. Oh yeah. So I daily an LS430, which has the same powertrain as this car, and uh, what an engine. Most reliable engine ever, I mean in the running. Smoothest engine running ever, maybe. It's a good overall piece of machinery, this engine is. I don't see any sort of timing belt sticker here. Um, we'll have to look at the Carfax and see if it what has been changed out. I, I don't see anything to, to point one direction or the other. Can't tell if the water pump has been done. It is a very clean engine bay. And I will say, these hoses don't look factory, and that's not a factory hose clamp. So it's had some work done on it. This radiator looks pretty darn new. So that might explain that, that maybe the radiator's been done at one point. Let's look at the car packs at some point. We'll check that out. Maybe it'll be there. So much nicer with this top down. It's in nice shape. Some super minor marks here. The leather's still soft. 
pliable. Forwards, backwards, up, down, forward, backwards. Cool. There's these ridiculous back seats. Like who's who's getting their, their legs in there? I don't know. Not me. What's in here? Oh, okay. That's the ashtray and the cigarette lighter up front. I bet you they had that pulled out for the that accessory backup camera. All right, let's look in this trunk. Let's put the top back up and then go for a drive. All right. As you can see, the trunk is currently filled with hard top. There is some accessories here. We've got this cargo net. Um, this is all stuff for this um, still vacuum packed and unused car cover. So that's pretty sweet. Here's a little baggie for it. This is the front license plate. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to see photos of this all opened up, uh, that will be in the body of the listing, so check that out. Oh, look at this. Just noticed it now. They've got duct tape here. I, I don't know why. It doesn't look like it's duct tape on, because this thing's pretty secure. I, I don't know. I don't know why they have duct tape here. Maybe the duct tape has been taking some damage, so maybe that's their version of a little bit of protection here. I don't know, but that, that's of note. Okay. All right, let's put the top back up. Then go for a drive. Okay, close. I will say, you know, as as these things go, convertible hardtops, retractable hardtops, whatever you want to call them, they tend to be finicky and, and people don't trust them, especially on older cars. This is one that you can trust. These ones seem to be pretty stout. And so the number one thing with these cars is that they have some of the most reliable powertrain ever built with the 3UZ motor and the transmission and the hardtop works. So unlike an SL, which might be a little sexier, um, look a little better, maybe drive a little better. Those cars can be maintenance nightmares from, from every, every aspect, including these tops. Same with like SLKs and such, not here. And this one works kind of as they all do. So let's go for a drive. Let's see, see what that's like. And we'll go from there. All right, let's roll. All right. Let's go for a drive with the top up. So this is the first time driving one of these for me. Uh, my daily is an LS430, 2006, so a lot of, a lot of this is similar. Um, suspension is definitely tighter, it's not as lux luxury oriented, let's say. Um, you know, 128,000 miles on this example. I don't know if these are, these are the original 
um, sh you know, shocks, struts uh, on this car. They feel pretty good, but the car does, you know, I, I don't know if it's just cowl shake and I feel like it shouldn't be there because of this nice hard top. It doesn't feel as much as a convertible, um, but it's definitely, you know, it's a firmer ride than my LS, certainly. Um, and you can feel some movement in the chassis or the suspension. I, I suspect it's just cowl shake. Um, but transmission tip's great. Motor feels great. We'll run it up on the, we'll run it up down this terrible road right here to really test that suspension out. But good power, it's really strong. Uh, you know, just knocking at the door of 300 horsepower. You know, it's a dense car, it's pretty heavy, but um, it's not big. It, it, I don't know, not terrible. Was it, was it Clarkson that said it's the worst car ever made? I, I would, I would argue with that. Um, but yeah, you know, 128,000 mile Lexus is just getting started. It's, uh, these 3Z, uh, 3UZ engines uh, are absolutely bomb proof. Um, buttery smooth, um, and that's kind of the experience of this car. Uh, you know, it's an all-weather, all-season convertible. So um, check out the auction of this one over at Cars and Bids. Um, I'll have a link to that in the description below, so follow along there. Um, bid often, bid early, and thanks for poking around this uh, SC430 with me. All right. Toodaloo!